I think you all should know exactly that I am not the kind of person who is going to be talking about stuff on this channel or this video about some very serious mm, people's cr crime issues that go beyond a level that I do am not willing to discuss on this channel, but being that the governor of New York is on some very serious, um, the governor of New York is getting some very, very serious accusations right now for his actions. He is being um, accused of something serious I am not willing to discuss. That is his problem and I am just not willing to talk about it. I can say it is pretty serious and he will definitely need to handle the situation on his own. It's his problem and I just don't feel comfortable talking about this. I'm not even going to This is This is me. I'm like I said in the beginning of this video, I, I'm not the kind of person who talks about these kind of issues that happen between other people. However, if it's, um, if it has to do with, you know, the insurrection or, um, you know, tax fraud issues, you know, issues other than the serious problem that Andrew Cuomo is facing, then I'm willing to talk about it. But if it's something that is, you know, very, very serious, I'm pretty sure you all know what I mean by that. that I'm just not going to speak of it on this channel or even in the video. It's not my business to be talking about it, so... I'm just gonna... You know... Um... I prefer to leave the topic on what Andrew Cuomo is facing alone right now. Because I'm not... I know what he's facing right now is completely serious and it could be a serious crime and he'd have to pay the price for it and that stuff. But, uh, there's one thing I did want to mention in this video. Who would the next governor of New York actually be once Andrew Cuomo were to resign from New York. I wonder about the spread of COVID. That's the question that...
Like, I know the governor of New York is facing a bunch of issues right now. But, I just, after, you know, watching... After watching what Andrew Cuomo is, you know, being asked to do to resign from, you know, being accused of something serious, the question that I have, this has been for a long, this has been for you know, a few days. <clears throat> um, who would the next governor of New York actually be? And most importantly, would he handle the COVID crisis that we are in the same way that Andrew Cuomo has handled the coronavirus pandemic in the state of New York. The question I want to know is, but the next governor keep the state of New York actually safe? Meaning, Andrew Cuomo, he made the, he made the rule that, you know, people... There is a limited number of people that can only enter a grocery store at a time. The, uh, Andrew Cuomo made it very strictly that to keep the, to keep COVID, to keep the spread of COVID low and that stuff, he wants to keep the, um, the amount of people that can be in a that can be in a building is <clears throat> it's very limited so the spread of COVID could end up increasing at a very, very great level that Andrew Cuomo never wanted to happen in the state of New York. What if the next governor of New York was actually incompetent to actually keep the spread of COVID in the state of New York have it spread throughout the whole state of New York and actually New York would finally become just like every other state here in America where we have states that have thousands of COVID cases. And the state of New York isn't as dangerous as the rest of the 49 states here in the United States. That's the question that you want to ask yourself. We won't know until Andrew Cuomo actually faces his trial and if if he is actually found guilty for being accused of doing something that is against the law and stuff, then that's when we would know when the next, uh, when the next 
governor of New York would be elected. And I would just really hope that the cases of COVID would not continue to spread. Depending on the level of, of incompetency the next governor of New York actually has. That was a big question. New York, as I always known since the pandemic, has been very safe. Andrew Cuomo handled the spread of COVID very well in the state of New York. And New York has been by far the most safe the most safe state in here in all of the United States. And to have to hear about what the governor of New York has been accused of is really, really scary. It's not something I'm willing to discuss on this channel, but I am willing to discuss the questions. Who would the next president or the next governor of New York actually be? And would that governor actually be capable of keeping the spread of COVID of COVID low? And making it safe so that people can continue to have, uh, well, be able to safely live their life in New York without having to worry about some massive COVID spread. Like, I know, I know in 2020 is when the whole COVID-19 pandemic started and I'll be real it's it's the fault of president or uh, former president Donald J Trump of getting the travel ban put in place earlier before this pandemic actually struck out as Andrew Cuomo said the sh the the covid the covid actually came from china over to europe and then as he said got on a cruise ship and that's how the covid got here uh, he used plane. But the first time I heard about the first spread of COVID was not in the United States. I first heard about this. Uh, the, the spread started in China. And What happened was I heard COVID was now starting to be on cruise ships and right there is where the cruise ship came to the United States and that is when our first case of COVID started. So, who would be the next governor of New York to take care of this issue? I want to hope that it's somebody that is competent, like Andrew Cuomo, that would be able to take care of the job and lower the spread of COVID. And hopefully, help with the vaccines and contribute with the produce of vaccines in some way 
so that the New Yorkers could actually still feel safe. They won't have support of Andrew Cuomo anymore if he's found guilty for the crime that he committed. Who will the next governor of New York actually be? We don't know. Only time's going to tell us this. But I want to thank you all for tuning in to view this channel here. Because this is very, um, it's, it's scary to talk about. But I wanted to share this because I want to know who the next governor of New York would actually be. This is Charles Morris. Have a good day. And I will see you all later.